What's going on all? I'm coming at you today with an Outriders video. And what is Outriders you ask? Well, it's a third person cover shooter RPG set in a science fiction futuristic setting. It takes place on an alien planet called Enoch. The game at launch will be a singular story, meaning that it has an ending. It's not a game as a service or live service open-ended game like The Division, Anthem, Destiny, or games like that. So if you're expecting that type of game, you may be disappointed by Outriders. If you like games such as Mass Effect, Gears of War, Borderlands, Ghost Recon Wildlands slash Breakpoint, things like that, then this game is probably right up your alley. It is being made by People Can Fly, who were responsible for games such as Gears of War Judgment, Bulletstorm, and Painkiller. So they definitely know how to make great shooter mechanics. They've also stated that this is the game they've always wanted to make. So it seems like the passion and desire to make a good game is there. So here's hoping. Here's what we know so far about the story. Something happened on Earth. We're not sure what it was. Overpopulation, lack of uh, resources, don't know. But humanity left in search of a new home. They stumbled upon an habitable world called Enoch. Once there, they discovered a mysterious signal and went to investigate. Out of nowhere, a strange energy appeared that is known simply as the Anomaly. This anomaly caused massive storms and destabilization of the environment, as well as destroying most of their technology with a kind of electro-EMP pulse. Infected the expedition team themselves, and those who did not die were placed in cryostasis. Fast forward now to 30 years later, your character, who was one of these placed in cryostasis, known as Outriders, awake from their cryostasis pod to see that the planet has been transformed and strange mutations roam the lands. But that was not the only thing, as you were also altered, and you now set out to figure out what happened and why. This game features a fully voiced main story campaign, as well as side quests, world objectives, mini-bosses, and much more yet to be disclosed. Shred of humanity is over. Shira. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I can do things now. I don't understand, but maybe there's a reason. They've said that many quests in the game can be repeated if you wish to, including the main story. So that's cool. Moving on to gameplay. It is a third-person cover shooter like Gears of War, Ghost Recon Wildlands, etc. It is an RPG first and foremost, so go into this with that in mind. It uses a combo system for your abilities similar to Mass Effect and Anthem. There are multiple skill trees for playstyle customization, but very little is known about them right now. Outriders also features drop-in, drop-out co-op, like Ghost Recon Wildlands, Breakpoint, and Borderlands. It uses a hub-and-spoke map system with separate areas instead of one giant single map which the map features multiple biomes such as forests, deserts, mountains, etc. The game uses a world tier difficulty system like Diablo 3 that goes up to 15 at launch and the personal player level cap will be 40 at launch. The game does feature a character customization but what we saw of it was we're hoping it was an early draft because it seems pretty basic. But we'll see what happens as you know we go forward. There's still a long time before this game comes out. Actual gameplay for the game is squads of three people, each armed with three abilities and three weapons. For those of you that are curious, there is a vote to skip cutscenes option so you don't have to sit through the same cutscenes over and over again. Moving on to classes. There will be four classes at launch, though we've only seen three of them so far. These are the Pyromancer, which is your mage-type mid-range fire damage, the Trickster, which is close-range rogue-type that can bend space and time, and the Devastator, which is the tank type that uses the Earth itself to bolster its defenses and crush its enemies. 
As I said, there will be a fourth class, we just don't know what that is right now. Now, each class has a total of eight abilities that will unlock as you level up, three of which can be used at any time. Also, there's a skill tree system with three separate branches that allows you to further customize your character and tailor it to your own personal playstyle and preferences. Now, keep in mind, for you RPG buffs out there, that abilities and comboing is an absolute must in this game, especially at higher tier difficulties. Remember, this is an RPG first and foremost, and a shooter second, so damage output is paramount and should always be your primary focus. As far as enemies are concerned in this game, we know very little about any of them outside of the, like, mutated creatures we've seen. One we do know a little bit about is a group of rogue humans who call themselves the Insurgents. They're angry with whomever for whatever reason. Again, it's very early in the development stage. The game was just announced, so I will definitely give more information as I know it, so stay tuned to that. So my overall impressions of this game is it seems like it could be a lot of fun. It has a lot of hopes and dreams, for lack of a better term. There's a lot of people putting a lot of stress on this game, comparing it to other games, you know, trying, not sure if they want to hype it or unhype it due to being disappointed with other games, and I can understand that, but in my opinion, it's really not fair to judge this game against, I've seen people compare it to Destiny and Warframe and Anthem and The Division, and this isn't a looter shooter like those games are, so it's, it's not even the same genre, so it's unfair to do a comparison, but it is also way too early in this game's I guess, announcement cycle, we still have, all it says is holiday 2020. So we still have at least six, seven months before this game's even going to come out. So there's still plenty of time for things to change, things to get better, things to whatever. So I say we just wait and see. It looks interesting. Keep an eye on it. See if it, where it goes. Don't judge it too harshly too soon because it might just surprise you. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe. Definitely share. If you have any video suggestions you would like me to do, please feel free to throw them down in the comments, and I will catch you guys next time on my next video. Later.